Welcome. Thanks for being here. Today I'll be making enchiladas, beef enchiladas. Here I have, this is a little more than a pound of ground beef. And I'm going to get this cooked up. Um, I'm going to drain a little bit of this grease off. Just a little bit. I'm going to add in some seasonings and I have some onion powder, some garlic powder, some black pepper, some cumin. You have to kind of season it to your own taste, okay? And I have some um, Mexican bouillon. I have a couple left. I thought I'd put these in here. And if you don't have these, don't worry about it. Just add some um, beef bouillon or some chicken bouillon. I also have a little tomato bouillon that I'm going to add in. Use what's in your cabinet. Get these in here. See. They have all the same spices. Chili. I mean, uh, um, chili powder and cumin. Flavors like that. I wish I had some more. I'm going to have to get online and order some more. Get these mixed up. Rinse my hands off. Give me a second. Get, get these just mixed up and taste it before I add anything else. right there. We don't need anything else. I'm going to set this aside. Now we're going to make our sauce. And I'm going to use chili mix because everything is in there. Alrighty, let's get that in. Different brands, but it's okay. It's okay. Two 15 ounce cans of tomato sauce. Let's get this together right quick. We made a nice little mess, didn't we? Say you didn't, I did, huh? Okay. I'm gonna add some water to this can to rinse this out. Add in this second can. Then I'm going to add in the, the little water and we're going to let this simmer. First, we're going to taste it and see what we need to put in it, and then we're going to let it simmer for just a few minutes 10 or 12 minutes. while we get our, our our tortillas ready. Add a little bit of this water in. And we'll add more if we need to. Gonna season it up a little more. It's tasty but not quite seasoned enough for me. Add some more 
onion powder, more garlic powder, just a little more cumin. Have plenty of that in there. Uh oh, turn it back down. Going to splatter if we don't. So this time I'm going to add some uh, chicken bouillon cubes. And like I said, you can add chicken, beef, whatever kind you have. Gotta be careful with this stuff because it has a high sodium content. I'm sure you know that. get it salty because we'll be in trouble, right? We sure will. Some people like salty food. And I remember when I was way younger, I did too. I love some salt. But, um, as I got older, I didn't care for it too much. So my tongue is real sensitive when it comes to salt. See what's going on. Mm. Mm. It's not quite there yet. I'm gonna add another one. And maybe just a dash of this tomato bouillon. do it for that. Excuse me. I like the thickness of that right now. Let's see. Yum, yum. That is so good. I think that's enough. I'm not going to add anything else with salt in it. This right here is delicious, this tomato bouillon, but it is, you know what I'm about to say, salty. Okay, what I'm going to do with this is, I'm going to take this and move it over on the stove. I'm going to cover it, keep it on really low, and let it just simmer. Now, if it starts to get too thick, I'm just going to add a little more water. To have it at my my um the thickness that I want. <clears throat> okay. All right. Okay, I have some oil in this pan. I'm going to take my tortillas and we're just going to dredge in here. Probably going to have to use my fingers. Get them in here. I think my fingers might do better. Keep them more pliable. I didn't say that already. I'll work with them better. And I'm going to do all eight of these right quick. The last couple. Mm -hmm. Spread it out a little bit. I'm going to add some of this 
ground beef hamburger. Should have did it beef a long way. We'll just do it like this here. And add some cheese. I'm using the the uh, Mexican blend. I'm going to go ahead and roll the rest of these up. Can you see in there? Right quick. If it gets too thick, then feel free to add a little water to thin it out. Okay. There we are. I'm going to add some more sauce. up to you how much. Fix it like you would like it. A little bit more. Mm, spread that out a little bit. My oven is heated at 375. Let's get some cheese on here. Were you a kid that sang every commercial that came on TV? I was. I'm still a person that sings everything that comes on the radio. I know my husband never says anything, but I know he wishes like she has to sing everything that comes on the radio. Yes, everything. that I know it depended on the radio station too, okay? Some of it I have to hum because I know nothing about. <laughs> I have some black olives here that I've sliced, pitted of course. And if you don't like these, don't put those on there. But I like black olives. I like green olives too. I can just sit and eat those out of the jar, but the black olives are pretty much to have them cooked. I can slice that one. Yeah, I like to have the black olives cooked. And that should do it right there. Got some green onions. I'm going to put some on top now. I'm going to put some on the top when they come out. When it comes out. We're going in this oven. I'm going to cook this for about 20 minutes or so or however long it takes to for the cheese to melt and for it to get all bubbly. And then we'll taste it. Okay, that baked on 375 for 25 minutes. And I'm going to try to slice it. But it's super hot. Let me see. Here's my spatula. Let's see. Mm hmm. It's gonna be delicious. Can you see that steam? It's extremely hot. Mm 
not you see I'm not about to stick this in my mouth <laughs> it is too hot but I just wanted you to see what was going on here it's delicious just trust me I have a salad that I put together just some um, iceberg lettuce cut up some tomatoes I put the rest of the black olives that I have, some red onions, and I sprinkled it, sprinkled it with a little salt and pepper, and um, I'm going to add a little bit of sour cream on my enchilada. Well, anyways, uh, thank you for watching, and remember to pray. S subscribe and tap that bell if you haven't. If you have, thank you so much. And give me a thumbs up, too. You can do that right now. I'll wait. Thank you. Share with friends and family and comment. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, you stay safe, you stay well, and you stay blessed. And make you some enchilada. And I'd like to leave you with this, if it's okay. Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil. And cling to what is good. Alright. I love ya. Later. Mmm. Mmm. That's good, I need some sour cream.